This is a demonstration video of the Perdio Oxford record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so that you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. When you receive it, the first thing to do is to screw down the two transit screws on the deck located here and here. Screw those all the way down fully clockwise so that the deck floats on its springs and release the arm clip. The amplifier controls are on the front panel. As per description, the on off switch is non functional. Then you have the tone and volume. So the power comes on straight away when the machine is plugged in and you have the red power light to let you know that it's switched on. On the deck you have the 4 speed control here, 16, 33, 45 and 78 and the start stop switch. You can load between 1 and 6 records, I'll demonstrate with 2 just so that you can see how it plays. So just pop the records onto the spindle ledge and put the stacker arm across and after selecting the appropriate speed flick the red switch to auto to start the auto changer and the first record will drop. Try. If you want to switch to the next record, just flick the red switch to auto again. So I'll just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. Same principle applies, just pop the record on, select the correct speed and again flick the switch to auto and the record will drop down and the arm will move across. the arm lifts off automatically at the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually, you can just pop an individual record down the spindle onto the mat and select manual. That will start the turntable turning and you can then place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, carefully lower the stacker arm down so it knows to switch off automatically at the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar left in the upright position like so, that will trigger the repeat function which is for 12 inch records only and it will replay the same album over again until manually switched off. So I hope that covers everything but if you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my personal email address in with the machine and please use that method to contact me.